Big welcome to you to this fine venue, the London Stadium. Martin Tyler here along with Alan Smith. And for these two clubs, it's their last game in their Premier League season. It's West Ham United against Aston Villa. Well, it's been a long old campaign, hasn't it? Plenty of ups and downs along the way. And both sets of players, I know, will be looking forward to a bit of sunshine, a bit of time on the sunbed now. But they've got 90 minutes to get through first. Thank you. Enjoy the game. Great two. Get the game underway through West Ham's kicker. West Ham United's lineup is this Lucas Fabianski plays in goal, Felipe Anderson plays with Jared Bowen in midfield, and here is just the one main attacker in this lineup. The Aston Villa team for this game. Well, we put it up as a 5 2 3. It could be. 3-4-3, three, three, couldn't it, if the wide players get forward from the back? Yeah, I think it's one of those, it could be anything the manager wants it to be. He has got some very talented lads out there, though. Players trying to attack the cross. Rather hoisted into the middle, and way over his teammates. Well, confirmation, as if it's needed, really. Everyone knows now, don't they, that the league title has been decided. The match will be played. But the big event of the day, Alan's going to be the presentation. Yeah, exactly. I mean, we've seen so many performances that got them to the top of the table. We might not quite see the intensity of those previous displays, but I think you can forgive them for that. Alan McAnally has news of a goal at Leicester City. It's a goal for Leicester City. Eight minutes played, 1-0. Eagle eyes, as always, from Alan McAnally. Looking to win it back. Really anticipating something special from him here today. Not bad at all. Four goals in his last three games. Another danger man to keep an eye out for. Well, he really could be the star of the show today. Well, because he's just one away from equaling the goal-scoring record, it's important that he doesn't shoot when he should pass, that he still becomes a team player out there. Plenty of space out wide, and they're going to use it. Lanzini trying to steer it through a couple of teammates up in support can't hang onto it the keeper down in South London is Alan McAnally with a goal at Sellers Park Alan it's a goal for Tottenham Hotspur great chance to go in front really vital interception here Alan McAnally, who loves his football and he's enjoying this game, I can tell that, but just a quick word from him about that Spurs goal. The score is now 1-0. He went in well. And it's gone out for a throw. It's going to be another throw now. Halle. Bowen. He's cut it out. McGinn. Frederick Gilbert. Quick witted and quick in his movement too to intercept there. It goes out wide again. Thomas Socek. Arthur Masuaku. A space to get the cross in. Up for grabs here. We've got some up-to-the-minute news from Alan McAnally from Selhurst Park. It's a second goal for Tottenham Hotspur. It's been scored by Harry Kane. A cross came in, was headed out, and he met it just outside. Alan! Maybe the conditions we've got to take into account here. This uh, very wet pitch just put him off his balance. Yeah, the ball's skidding about too, and uh, maybe it slipped off his foot. It's so wet, that ball. 
Sebastian Haller. Great tackling technique to win the ball cleanly. That's a good report from Alan McAnally, but it had to be a brief one. Uh, he has told us that Spurs did score in that game. If you missed it, the score is now 2-0. Just read the intentions of the opposition there to make the interception. A real chance to go in front. And they score! And the first goal will be such a boost to them. Well, that's a poacher's goal. Maybe not his most spectacular, but an important one here. A good look here, again, by the replay of the goal. West Ham with this advantage. Able to make the interception. Socek. Set up to play on the break now. He's one possession. Frederic Gilbert. The good thing about these pitches these days, even when we're getting rain like we're getting here, it just goes straight through. It does, and uh, it means the ball moves so fast across the surface, and uh, that's great for attacking quick play. Ale. Ah, oh, he's taken it away there with a very good tackle. In the Manchester City game, news of a goal, Alan McAnally. It's a second goal for Manchester City. It's been scored by... Trying to slip it through. Manzini. Turned aside there by the keeper. Bowen. These fans can sense their team is grabbing the ball by the horns here. Taking charge, got to make it count though. Well, we had to break away from Alan McAnally there. Apologies for that. Confirmation for you that Manchester City did score in that match. They are winning 2-0. Another turnover in play here with that interception. And the verdict on added time is two minutes. So check. On the attack here. Allah! Simple save there, really, for Heaton in goal. And that's half time. Signaled by the referee. 1 0. Referee just checking everything is in order, and he blows for the second half to start. McGinn. Gets his foot in there. Bowen. Lanzini. Socek. Halle. Now position unable to get in behind really and the tackler did his job here's a chance to just stretch the opposition with a bit of width his teammates have recognized the potential of this attack they really had a go in the quest for this equalizer Alan yeah it was a half decent chance maybe snatched at it a touch Fredericks Lanzini. I think that's a good performance, isn't it, Alan, from him in the first half? Well, he played really well, didn't he? And he got himself a goal to put his... He's in here! Oh, it's off the bar! At Chelsea, is Alan McAnally with news of a goal in that game. It's the second goal for Chelsea. It should be! He has come to the rescue this time. We had to come back here quickly, as you would understand. Sorry to Alan McAnally for that. Confirmation for you that Chelsea did score in that game. And they are winning by two goals to nil. Lanzini.
Bowen. Socek. And that header goes over the line, and it will be a throw. Lanzini. Halle. Neatly intercepted. Well, we're two-thirds of the way through the 90 minutes. Half an hour to go. Teammates getting out of the way because they know he can dribble it here. Well, the tackle there has led to a throw. Mbwana Ali Samata. Nice piece of tackling here. And that's uh, strong defending. Halle. Now Felipe Anderson. The ball glued to his boots, it seems. Excellent work. A real chance here. Oh, yes, that's the goal. It breaks the record. Oh, he's been magnificent this season. So many fine finishes like that, and that'll mean a great deal. Well, it was a decent move, and to get some space in a crowded penalty area. Different angle on it here. Well, this is where substitutes are important. Who and when. Restarting at 2-0. Alan McAnally is at Selhurst Park today, and he's got some goal news for us. It's another goal for Tottenham Hotspur. It's been scored by Lucas. He was played through with only the keeper to beat, lifted the ball over him as he went to ground. 69 minutes played, 4-0. Thanks, Alan. 20 minutes of the 90 still to play. Ah, oh, he's taken it away there with a very good tackle. No doubt about that, free kick. Substitution for West Ham United. Now we're going to have an alteration. Number 10, Manuel Lassini. Thomas Socek. Noble. Number 16, Mark Noble. West Ham controlling possession so far. And it's been a really impressive performance, the way they've used the width of the pitch. They've swung some really good crosses in. The strikers have been on top of the game. Samata. He's confident with the ball at his feet, isn't he? Well, the build-up looked good there until the interception. At Chelsea's Alan McAnally with news of a goal in that game. Slipping it through. Alan! Off the crossbar. And back into the penalty area. Trying to shout them across the winning line here, the West Ham fans. We can't help but stimulate motivate these players such support well the keeper got to that and probably should have done yeah you would expect him to save it and he did in goes the corner Felipe Anderson looking to attack the cross in numbers West Ham United are given a corner no apologies for focusing on this fellow well the defense knew all about him beforehand but they really haven't got tight enough, and as a result, he's been working the keeper, and he's got on the score sheet, hasn't he, a few times. Diop, Thomas Socek, West Ham United, given the advantage. Trying to slip it through. Off the bar, back into play. Now that's a throw. I wonder whether the keeper afterwards will claim he'd got that one covered. Let play go, and now it's stopped. Here comes the yellow card. Yeah, you could see the ref had seen it, but he wanted to give the team a chance. Noble. Well, that's what he's in the team to do, to make those tackles. And well, maybe the counter-attack is on here. McGinn. Apologies to Alan for breaking into his report. Confirmation for you that Wolves scored in that match. 
and they've got themselves back in it. They're just trailing 2-1 now. Can't get past him. Such a good defender. Masuaku. Socek. Noble. Halle. Taking on the opposition and the responsibility as well. Jack Grealish. Again, the referee has indicated the referee's decision. Minimum, two added minutes. Two minutes of added time. Mbwana Ali Samata. Men in there to try to convert this cross. And the referee looks to his assistant, who's got the flag up. It's offside. Fredericks. Well, in a way, Alan, the game has been irrelevant because already. They knew they'd clinch the title. Everyone in the ground, including the players, waiting for the presentation to reward this outstanding season from an outstanding team. Yeah, it's been a party atmosphere, hasn't it, really, from start to finish. I've experienced it myself in 91 when we played Manchester United. But uh, it doesn't taste any less sweet for those lads down there. And they've enjoyed the game, but really, most of all, they've enjoyed the season. They have been superb, undoubtedly the outstanding team. Well, I think so. Sometimes when their rivals faltered, they kept their eyes fixed firmly on the target and they really did stick together. They had injuries, one or two suspensions, but they kept picking up the results. And now they are about to pick up what it's all about. They are the champions. Oh, wonderful scenes. Scenes and moments they will never forget. You look back in 20 years' time and you'll think about this day. To share it with the supporters. They've had a great bond, great travelling fans, as well as the, uh, the home followers. They certainly haven't been without the backing that every team needs to go week in, week out in this most demanding of leagues. Great occasion here. Had time to set it all up knowing that this presentation day would take place. It didn't depend on the result of the match. And together with the trophy, that's happiness all round.